absolute drought now what is drought drought is a period of below average precipitation in a given region resulting in prolonged shortage of its water supply so a drought is generally a area which receives very very less rainfall or very very less precipitation as compared to what it generally receives so what is the result of uh, drought or very less rainfall is the kind of soil that you see here it's all cracked and it becomes very very infertile a drought can last for months or even years also it may so happen that it may not be declared immediately because it takes time to understand whether it is drought or not it can have a substantial impact on the ecosystem and the agriculture of the affected region and also it can harm the local economy because when the farmers don't receive enough rainfall then this is how the condition of the soil will become they will not be able to do any kind of vegetation or any kind of agriculture in that land and that is why it can affect the economy or the local population and the condition of the farmers also now from 1958 to 1961 15 million people died in china because of horrific drought conditions and in 1960 at least some degree of drought and other bad weather affected 55% of cultivated land while an estimated 60% of the agricultural land received no rain at all so this was the condition of china and this was known as the great chinese famine this was the most worst period in china which was recorded 15 to 43 million people were killed now another severe condition which was recorded was with usa usa has been hit by a huge drought in 2012 and because of this there was decrease in the corn production by about 12% so this is how when we don't get enough rain it will affect the agriculture it will affect the production and hence it will affect the economy Now avalanche is a next natural disaster. Avalanche occurs in you know mountains which are generally covered with snow and to tell you in a very very simple language avalanche is nothing but when the snow is loose the entire snow gets drifted down and it slides down the mountain so this is called an avalanche. So what is the definition of avalanche an avalanche is a rapid flow of snow down a sloping surface and avalanche usually accelerates rapidly and it grows in mass and volume so if the avalanche moves fast enough so some of the snow it mixes with the air and then it forms a powder snow avalanche so this type of avalanche is known as a gravity current The biggest avalanche happened on Mount Huskaran which killed almost 20,000 people. This mountain rises 22,000 feet high above the sea level in the Andes mountain and the avalanche this particular avalanche in this mountain traveled 9 and a half miles only in just 7 minutes and it wiped away several communities. I mean the the destruction was so much that it wiped the entire community there so many community that stayed overall approximately 4000 people lost their life in this particular avalanche and there were few who just got buried below the snow and their body was never recovered so such was the devastating effect of this avalanche and additionally 10000 farm animals were killed and millions of dollars of crops were destroyed in this avalanche now let's move on to landslide so a landslide or a landslip we can say is a movement in the ground or a shallow flow of debris so when the debris just flow down the mountain that is called as a landslide a landslide includes a wide range of ground movements such as rock fall so rock fall is also one kind of uh, landslide deep failure of slopes shallow debris flow so all these are landslides this landslide can occur under water which is called a submarine landslide coastal and onshore 
environments also we will be able to see landslides and although the action of gravity is the primary driving force of a landslide to occur but there are other contributing factors that affect the original slope stability the largest landslide in the history happened because of mount helens 3 kilometers of the rock moved downhill mount helens case study is as shown in the figure and you can see here this is the largest landslide in the history and as i said 3 kilometers of the rock moved down so how this is the first picture and as you see this rock is just starting to slide down debris are coming out the mountain the rocks and the other debris were slow loose that 3 kilometers of the rock actually moved downhill so this was mount helens so this was about uh, landslide 